Here we are. Jed Coburn is here with Talk Therapy, and this is purely for me today. This is all me, 100% for me, but really it's for you. Let's be real here, because that's really what I do. <clears throat> but this is Talk Therapy. I have nothing to talk about. I have nothing random. I have Actually, this is everything random. It's everything that I just talk out loud, and I completely just let it all out, and it's really for therapy, right? I mean, this is, feels like therapy. I usually don't know what to say and what to do, and this is where I bring it all out. And today is a crazy day, getting off work late. Um, you know, I mean, it happens. Sometimes you gotta work late. Sometimes you gotta just do things that you usually don't want to do um, to figure out what you want to do, you know. And that's how it works, right? I mean, it's not that I didn't want to work I just know that I need to um, you know you kind of got to go through some things in life before you can before you can actually always talk from your heart center always work from your heart center always do what you want to do and you know I'm not saying that I don't like what I'm doing all I'm saying is literally I just work right and sometimes you get off of work late and it doesn't always feel good it's not always the best and it's not always you know doesn't work into your favor but really it comes down to being grateful I guess I'm just grateful to have a job being grateful to just have a career and income a, a passion and understand my passion and understanding of what that looks like and feels like and what it is so um, yeah it I just need <clears throat> this talk therapy every day it's or almost every day like what does that look like what does that feel like it is just talking out loud it is literally just understanding yourself more and and just letting it all out letting it go and accepting that you don't know and loving that you don't know and I probably say that a million times nowadays but I'm going to say it at least 10 million no more and that's okay so it just is talking out loud and, and while I'm doing whatever that I'm doing is that is a big deal right is just knowing that that is how it works and in moving forward with that and what does that look like and it, it's how it works it is literally how it works and sometimes I don't even know I'm gonna say it but it is working through it it is just talking out loud and moving forward with your heart's center and that's really what I thought um, I'd bring up is where is your heart center and that's what I feel like I'm kind of moving into right now is what is that look like it's your truth it's your it's just speaking out loud and being comfortable with that and then putting it out there and that's what I do right I literally just talk we have it recording and then I just share it out there with anybody who would ever need to hear it because right now I just talk because I need to hear it for myself and that's how it works is someday very soon and I mean like very very soon I wouldn't you know so things are shifting at a very rapid pace right now and it's okay like change happens and we need to acknowledge it and love it and then we can 100% accept it and then it can then we can let it go and then it can change and be better and it, it's funny or different and right there right there was my thought right like I don't want to think during this this is literally just me talking from my truth so you know I'm just talking out loud and not knowing what's going to happen because if you continue to keep going and keep talking and keep moving and and you know in the right direction and, and heck even if you think it's the wrong direction whatever it is it's like you just have to work through it the only way to get past pain is to go through it like the only way to get past your pain is to go through it you can't skip a beat you can't skip being in pain you have to have growing pains like you have to have pain in order to get better you have to go through the pain in order for it to get better and just knowing that and loving that and accepting that is a big big deal so 
sometimes I think that I forget that and I just want to get from point A to point B, actually be over point A to point C without even stopping at point B. Like it, that pain has to happen from point A to point B to get to point C. And if there was less going on to get that happening, I could do it. But you know, time is time is what it is. We all have the same amount of time to get things done. And it's just the level of awareness of of wanting to do what you are going to do and what you want to do and what you're meant to do. And sometimes I think I make sense and sometimes I feel like I just ramble, but I think that is the biggest part is just acknowledging that, hey, you know what, this is what I needed to say at this moment. And sometimes that's okay. That is literally just okay for that to happen. Is it hard? Is it random? Is it like, what, what do you want to happen? What do you, what are you looking to happen in life? And this is, these are questions that, you know, I ask myself constantly, like why, who, what, where, when, and how? And if you notice which one I went to first would be why, why do I want to do anything that I do? Who leads that conversation? If you ask the right questions, you can get to the right answers. You know, I mean, just waking up in the morning is a blessing, right? Just waking up in the morning is a blessing. And from there on, you, you're you literally getting to, you literally get to enjoy life more because of that. Because every breath and every heartbeat is truly a blessing because you just don't know when it's gonna end. You just don't. You have no idea when it's actually going to end. And it, by it, I mean life, right? Like you just don't know when life will end for you. You could be 60, you could be 40, you could be 10, you could be 15, you could be 100, right? Like you just don't know. So being grateful for every moment of every day and living in that presence and doing what your heart has always said for you to do for your body. Listen to your body. What is your body saying to do, right? Forget your mind, because your mind is only gonna talk your body out of doing anything. Like, it is a mind-body approach. But if you're not flexing the right mental muscles, how are you going to even move forward, right? You have to prepare your mind before you can prepare your body. That is a pretty big statement right there, and that really felt good to just throw that out there. You have to prepare your mind before you can prepare your body. Because your mind only knows what it's going to lose if you change. You cannot measure what you're going to gain because you haven't been through it. If you try something new, and you have already done it, well, you're, it might work if you have learned from what didn't work in the past. If you have changed it a little bit, whatever it is. But if you have changed it a little bit and you try it again, then you might be on to something. But if you do it the exact same way every time, and expect different results, that's not going to happen. No, no change is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen different. So that's the big deal there. And it's just talk therapy. For me, it's just talking out loud, kind of evolving out loud. And that's from Kyle Cease, man. Like, the dude's got it. He's totally got it. And I just sit and I talk out loud. You know, the biggest thing right now is YGT Fitness for me it's not only YGT fitness, it can be YGT coaching, right? Like that's really more of what it is, it's YGT coaching. But that doesn't sound right to me either because YGT coaching, nobody really understands what that is. At least with YGT fitness, it's like, oh cool, that's a gym, where's that gym at? Well, I don't have a physical gym and that's okay, right? And I, and, and I love the fact that I don't have a physical gym now, right? Maybe someday that's going to be in my path, but for right now it's not. So then, you know, is it YGT approach? Like try the, you know, the YGT approach. You know, 
that's what it could be. I have no idea. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that means. But then, you know, service-wise, what does that look like? If you're a part of the YGT approach, then you're in a group, you're in my membership. I don't know what that is, right? I have no idea. Would people even want that? I don't know either. And I love that I don't know. And that's just how it works. So. Yeah, you know. Oh, sorry. Just yawning. That'll happen. People get tired, right? I need a little bit of, uh, I need some food. Usually when I'm tired at any point of the day, if it's daytime, I just need to eat. If I get tired, I need to eat during the day. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I don't really know. Because I don't really know anything anymore because they just question everything and I'm good with it like I love that I don't know I don't know and I love that I don't know and I say that just like that and it seems to be paying off tenfold so that's what I would say for you is that's what I can offer for you today is just try something new be willing to try something new and old processes ask why ask why would you do that why would I want to continue to do that and then if there's some legitimate reasons versus just what sounds like to be excuses, then continue to do it. But if they're just excuses of why you would just continue to be in misery and be in discontent and, you know, all that crap that goes along with an unhappy lifestyle, then ask yourself why and see if you want to continue to live like that. And if you need help with whatever that sounds like, looks like, hop onto my newsletter jedcobernerscom forward slash newsletter I just give some insight about all my coaching and the wads that create the workout of the days and all that fun stuff so you put your name and email in and I will see you on the other side to be help you make your visions and dreams and goals become reality so as always if you're willing to change from the neck up you will change from the neck down I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Stay blessed. Bye for now.